the system that you're actually listening to today uh, is Mola Mola Electronics, designed by Bruno, Bruno Putzis, yep. the Wunderkind of Class D amplification. Uh, the Macwa preamplifier retails at £7,500. Uh, it also has plug in boards as options for a phono stage and a DAC as well, so you can route multiple phono sources or multiple digital sources or run line sources, whatever your preference. Uh, the power amps, the uh, Kaluga power amps down here, monoblocks, they're 400 watts class D and uh, retail at £5,000 each, so £10,000 a pair. So pre-power 17.5. The loudspeakers we're listening to are Lawrence Dickey's design, uh, Vivid Audio Gia 3s, uh, and uh, these are sort of his ultimate expression of the technologies he developed when he designed the Nautilus range for Bowers and Wilkins back in the day. And the G3s retail at £28,000 a pair. They are the second model up in the series. They go G4, G3, then the G2, which is about this big and that retails at 38,000. Then the flagship is the G1, which is 48,000 pounds, about as tall as me, but luckily it's not quite as wide as I am. Um, but they sound even better than these do. But obviously in a room of this size, the G3 is just about the, the right product for the room. <laughs> Added together the synergy of the system you get a very clean sound very low noise floor uh, very dynamic lots of slam but lots of detail and inherently musical all at the same time <laughs> And a baby boy they named Miguel On the other side of the line is heaven On this side is a living hell uh, The sources that we're using, we've, we've deliberately been a little bit controversial. Uh, the, the CD transport we're hearing is by Micromega and it was uh, shown for the first time at a hi-fi show in about 1993, I think. Um, so it's actually one of the staff's own CD transport. Uh, what we're trying to illustrate with this is that if you've got a big CD collection, it's still fantastic. You don't have to throw it away and upgrade to high-res downloads. As long as you extract all of the information from the recording and then process it correctly, which we believe we do in the, the DAC built into the preamp, then you can get an absolutely amazing performance from 16-bit Red Book standard CDs. <laughs> Say it just shows that 24-bit recordings aren't necessarily going to sound better than 16-bit, mm -hmm. but uh, it is the case. You can mm -hmm. get, you know, if they're not taken from the original master recordings. I actually played earlier on a mobile fidelity I bought recently, um, which you know you would think would be better than the original 1978 vinyl that flexes, you know, like anything. <laughs> no, it's so been so messed with digitally that it sounds awful. But this is. Um, Christine and the Queens. The day went before Methuselah. So I have a sleep of a monia. And every morning we fly so bad. I miss them for the tears they shed. 